Hey, Davao de Oro, and to our avid listeners, most especially to our learners. Welcome in our presentation in Home Economics TVL Track. By the way, I am teacher Cheryl S. Absin of Pindasan National High School, Division of Davao de Oro. Join me as we explore our new lesson in TVL Home Economics Track. Learners, we are now in the fourth quarter in our lesson in cookery. Today, we will be discussing all about preparing desserts and with integration on preparing eggs. The objectives of today's lesson are At the end of this episode, the students will be able to learn how to identify the different classifications of desserts. Number two, prepare, plate, present, and store an example of dessert and sweet sauces. And number three, appreciate the importance of dessert and its business opportunity. I know that lots of you are very eager enough and excited and longing to see your classmates face to face. But we are still fighting to end this crisis. Always remember, Bida ang solusyon. Bawal walang mask, isanitize ang kamay, dumistansya ng isang metro, at alamin ang totoong impormasyon. Education still continues right in your home. Now, please get your modules and listen carefully as you tune in in our program Radio Z Escuela, School on the Air, so that you will be able to follow our discussions and learn another lesson from our specialization. But before we proceed, may I remind you of the following simple rules on how to use your modules. Number one, use the module with care. Do not put a necessary mark or marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Number two, read the instructions carefully before doing each task. As for this episode, I will be with you as we accomplish some of the tasks and activities for the quarter four, module one of two of our subject cookery. Number three, observe honesty, integrity, and most especially safety in doing the tasks and checking your answers. Number four, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. And number five, return this module to your teacher or facilitator once you are through with it. Now, are you ready? Very good! I guess everything is all set. Then, let's begin! Guessing game. Name the tool. Can you guess the picture? How about its uses and functions? Can you still remember? Let's try! Picture number one. Yes! It's a measuring spoon. It is used in measuring small quantity of ingredients. Picture number two. Scraper. Used to blend or scrape the food from the bowl. How about picture number three? It's a type of a baking pan or llanera. This is used for molding or baking. Picture number four. Mixing bowl. This is used in mixing ingredients. And the last but not the least, picture number five. Good job! Picture number five is a steamer. It's used to cook foods with a moist, hot air. Wow! That's awesome! 
Great job! These tools are very important in preparing desserts. With all those examples of tools that has been presented, what do you think is the kind of dessert that we will be preparing? Can you guess? Our lesson for today is all about the different types or classification of desserts. Then, we will also prepare one of those. Are you ready? But before that, please read the lesson information on page 166 to 174. This will guide you along our way as you will journey the world of desserts. Now desserts are usually sweet course or dish served at the end of the meal. It balances the whole meal. These are the classifications of desserts. Number one, fruits. Examples, we have the buku salad and the fruit platter. Number two, we have the cheese. Examples, we have the cheese tower and strawberry cheesecake. Number three, we have the gelatin dessert. Examples, we have the buku pandan and cathedral. Next, we have the custard. Examples, we have the Brazo de Mercedes and the Leche Flan. Number 5, we have the puddings. These are the Maha Blanca and Cassava Cake. Next, we have the Cobblers. Example, we have the Peach Cobbler. And the last but not the least, we have the Frozen Desserts. This includes the ice cream the sherbet and the ices, and the souffles and the mousses. Sweet sauces are flavored liquid blend of ingredients that adds flavor and enhances the appearance of the food. These sauces are categorized as custard sauce, purees, and syrup. Did you find it mouth-watering? Who among you have tried all kinds of dessert? Would you like to make one? You know, there's more. You can make business out of it. And surely, you will love its profit. One of the most valued desserts in the Philippines is the leche flan. It is made from the eggs and milk. It has a layer of soft caramel on top and smooth custard on the bottom. It is usually served during parties and special occasions. It was also derived from a French custard dessert or the creamy caramel. Preparing leche flan is also part of unit of competency in preparing egg dishes. Now, I will demonstrate how to make a leche flan. Here are the ingredients and costing. 10 egg yolks, that is 100 pesos. 1 can evaporated milk, 27 pesos. 2 cans of condensed milk, 65 pesos. And the zest of lemon 4 pesos and of course we need 2 to 4 tablespoons of sugar for caramelizing and that is for 5 pesos and of course we need to store our output that's why we need packaging packaging composed of 25 pesos the total amount is 226 pesos. And we will be able to yield 5 leche flans for 100 pesos each. That is 500 pesos. And our net profit is 274 pesos. Wow! That's amazing! 
Again, these are the ingredients. 10 egg yolks, 1 can evap milk, 2 cans of condensed milk, and a cyst of lemon, and then 2 to 4 tablespoons of sugar for caramelizing. Now, let us proceed with the demonstration. First is, you're going to turn on the stove in very low heat under a steamer. Next, we need to caramelize the sugar into the llaneras, making sure it will not be burnt. In a separate bowl, separate egg yolks from the whites. Stir gently, then add in the milk, the evap and the condensed milk. Then Zest in the lemon rind. Strain the mixture twice and fill in the llaneras in more than half full. Cover with foil or transparent cellophane. Cook in a steamer for 40 minutes under low heat. If done, cool down and run a knife on the sides. Turn it upside down and store in a plastic container. For plating, serve in a dessert plate and garnish with cream and caramel nest. Now we're done! It's your turn to cook now. Kindly turn your module on page 181 for the performance test and the rubrics. Okay, let's check if you did the task well. Good job! At this time, we will have our post-test to assess what you have learned from our lesson direction i will read the question twice write the answer on your test notebook again i'm going to read the question twice and you are going to write the answer on your test notebook ready Which of the following is an example of a frozen dessert? A. Egg pie B. Mango float C. Sapin sapin D. Turon Again, which of the following is an example of a frozen dessert? A. Egg pie B. Mango float C. Sapin sapin D. Turon Number 2. How does cobblers differ from pies? A. They are topped with biscuit dough. B. They must only be served hot. C. It tastes sweet. And letter D. It was baked. Again, how does cobblers differ from pies? A. They are topped with biscuit dough. Letter B. They must only be served hot. Letter C, it tastes sweet. And letter D, it was baked. Number 3. Which is not a characteristic of a good fruit dessert? A. Appetizing aroma. B. 
complex or complicated flavor. C. Slightly chilled. D. Fresh appearance. Again, which is not a characteristic of a good fruit dessert? A. Appetizing aroma. B. Complex or complicated flavor. C. Slightly chilled. Letter D. Fresh appearance. Next, number four. The common element for all desserts. It is. It serves as sweeteners. Again, it is a common element for all desserts, and it serves as sweeteners. A. Chocolate. B. Gelatin. C. Milk. And letter D. Sugar. Again, letter A. Chocolate. B. Gelatin. C. Milk. And letter D. Sugar. Which of the following sauces is suited to a simple dessert? A. Cold sauce. B. Hot fudge sauce. C. Light sauce. And letter D. Rich sauce. Again, which of the following sauces is suited to a simple dessert? A. Cold sauce. B. Hot fudge sauce. C. Light sauce. And letter D, rich sauce. Now, let us check your answers. For number one, the answer is letter B, mango float. Number two, the answer is letter A, they are topped with biscuit dough. Next, number three, letter B, complex or complicated flavor. Number four, letter D, sugar. And number five, letter D, rich sauce. Now, check the number and count your correct answers. Write your score in the upper right portion of your test notebook. You did it! Yay! Now let us check if we hit our objectives for today. At the end of this episode, you will be able to learn how to identify the different classifications of desserts. Next, prepare, plate, present, and store desserts and sweet sauces. And number three, appreciate the importance of dessert and its business opportunity. Thank you for tuning in and job well done everyone. Please don't forget to submit all your outputs during the scheduled retrieval and distribution of modules. Once again, thank you so much. This is Teacher Cheryl as I've seen. Leaving your code, a happy tummy creates a happy life and the opposite of stress is dessert. Till next time, goodbye!